Dead Duck Software created a free bundle of four instruments for Windows. A subtractive synth, an FM synth, a piano plugin and an electric piano. All bundled in the classic instrument pack, we tested these four very useful instruments, so stay tuned. First, let me ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you subscribe, we will keep you updated on all the great software and hardware we review. TedDuck Software created a free bundle of great instruments that are very easy to install and use, so we wanted to share this with you. The instrument pack is only available for Windows 64 and 32-bit and can be downloaded from the KVR website. The link is in the text below this video. We opened the downloaded zip file and found some PDF files with explanation about the instruments and two folders. One folder with the 32-bit versions and one with the 64-bit versions. Both folders hold four DLL files that you have to copy to the folder on your computer where you have stored all your plugins. So if you have a 64-bit computer, you have to choose the files from the 64-bit folder and when you have a 32-bit computer, just use the files from the 32-bit folder. Just copy them to your computer's VST folder and you are good to go and start up your digital audio workstation. We use Cubase Elements for this. Let's start with the DJX10 which is a subtractive synthesizer. In the middle you see the presets which hold around 55. The rest are free to program yourself. At the top row we see the oscillator which are actually two oscillators that you can mix together and detune. If you turn one of the knobs, you might not hear any difference in the tone. You have to press the key on your keyboard again to hear the changes for the oscillator. There's a filter and two envelope generators. And at the left we see the LFO and the master part. This is a quite easy to use synth with great presets to start with and it's easy to create your own. So let's listen to some of the presets before we go to the next instrument. The DDX10 is a digital FM synthesizer and FM starts for frequency modulation, which we found in the famous Yamaha DX synthesizers from the 80s. Also here you see the presets in the middle window. At the left we see the mod ratio, this is where the frequency modulation of the two oscillators is done. Next we see the envelope for the modulation and the section to modulate through velocity, wave and through. And finally we see the amp envelope. You might think this is difficult for you, all these strange controls, but you can find more information in the PDF manual which is also placed in the downloaded zip. Now let's listen to this FM synthesizer. The DPNO-A is an acoustic piano plugin with some controls to change the sound. 
There are 8 presets available with really different sounding settings. Really nice is the detuning of the piano and also the stereo knob at the master section makes the instrument sound really different. So let's listen to that now. The final one is the D Piano E, which I found really impressive. It holds 5 different digital piano presets and some very interesting controls. The modulation is interesting because when you turn it up, it will modulate the tremolo of the sound, but when you turn it down, it will modulate the panorama of the sound. The 3 knobs at the left, hardness, treble and overdrive, really make a difference on how this instrument sounds. Now, before I play this last one, you might consider subscribing to this YouTube channel so we can keep you updated on all the software we review. The link to this instrument can be found in the text below this video and also on our website. Now play. Mm -hmm. 